So how does a trader identify an entry? Well, let's kind of go through this real quick as I just got done taking a trade here. As you can see this big, this big long down move here. Uh, you can see I didn't capture all of this move as this one kind of uh, was a better entry than I ever really even realized. Uh, but we have a real nice move downward here. And I just kind of want to go through some of the basic mechanics uh, for you beginners out there is that how to identify an entry to know what you're looking for. OK, so let's go through it. First things first, uh, you have to uh, at least obtain a nice macro view of of where we're going is price. I had a bullish um, bias on the day. Uh, the monthly is bullish. The weekly is bullish. The day is bullish. Uh, the pre-market was flat and the opening New York session was bullish. And I just got done taking a short trade here in the afternoon. So let's kind of go through uh, my thought process and why it is that I, with all of those biases going on, why did I take a short? Well, one, you have to know what you're looking for. So let's kind of go through an entry cadence. OK, for those of you who, have, who, who don't take trades or, or are just learning how to do this, you have to have at least a little bit of a cadence and you have to have at least one to six different variables that you're looking for um, and to be able to check those off. OK, so let's go through them. Um, here's 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 my trade. First off, uh, you can see here I entered at uh, 4819. I entered this one early as we broke VWAP and pulled back. Uh, I entered a little bit early. So my level to do business, number one, do I have a level to conduct business at that I'm interested in doing business at? Well, yes, there's two things here in Confluence that I was interested in doing business at, or three things I should say. I had a gap here I'm willing to do business at. I have a prior day high and then I have VWAP all in Confluence here. So I'm looking to do business right through here. And as price ripped through here, I played a little bit of a pullback. I didn't wait long enough for the pullback, so I had to take a little bit of heat and I had to extend my risk reward just a little bit uh, and give it a little bit more time to roll over. Uh, and it finally did. And I got out at 48. Where did I get out here? I got out right about 48. Um, uh, almost at the close of this bar, 48.14, right about in here is where I rode this thing down to on two contracts. Okay. So that is the first thing that I'm looking for uh, is one, do I have a level? Do I have an area where I'm willing to do business? And number two, do I have a break or a shift in direction with all of those biases in place that I had on the daily, on the weekly, on the monthly, on the pre-market? Uh, I would need a pretty big shift in direction. Um, and did I get that? OK, so let's kind of go through how I measure that. So you can see we have this big rally right here in the beginning of the market, pre-market. And you can see there was a shelf built right across here, right across the pre-market, right? And then we had price uh, fake out back up a little bit here in the in the in over the lunch session. And then we ripped all the way down. So this area right here, hold on, let me, make, let me mark this off. So this area right here down to this. So from here, from 48.29.75 all the way down to the low of this bar, 48.17.75 represented a shift in trend, right? How do I know that? Well, we had a big, massive, violent move down that you can watch right through here with, with order flow. You can see all the sell side imbalances. You can see the sell side deltas, and you can see the distance we traveled. So also, you can see that I have a uh, EMA cloud here that went from bullish on a 10 minute flipped over to a bearish on a 10 right here at 120 in the afternoon. OK, so one, do I have a level to conduct business at? Yes, I have this big, massive uh, range right in here from 48, uh, 22, we'll call it all the way down to uh, 48, 20, where I'm interested in doing business. Okay, got an entry at 4819 is where I got my entry. Okay, do I have an entry opportunity? Did I get a pullback? Well, uh, yes, I got a pullback and I jumped the gun as per usual <laughs> in a lot of my trades. Uh, I jumped the gun on this pullback and I didn't give it enough time. Uh, looks like we had a two bar pullback. I gave it a one or about a half a bar pullback and I jumped in right here at 4819. Okay. Lastly, do I have a reasonable expectation of a profit target? Well, one, um, yes, as you, mar as you mark it out, I'm willing to risk 18 ticks to make 36. I didn't quite hold it for a two to one risk reward ratio. I held it for about a one to one uh, is where I pulled the trigger to get out. So 
as you're going through and you're assessing trades, one, know what you're looking for. Understand what are the variables that you need that are in place for you to pull that trigger. Have a cadence and a checklist that as those things start to come to pass, that you're able to check it off and enter your trades with confidence. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for listening. If you like this and you want access to the tools, check out Ninjacators Fast Track with the link below.